everybody and welcome to episode 9 of TV Movie Trivia. Here are our questions from last week. In what Oscar winning film about two murderesses did Catherine, Catherine Zeta-Jones perform all that jazz? And the answer is Chicago. Question number two. On the sitcom Seinfeld, what was the first name of Jerry's neighbor, Kramer? And the answer is Cosmo. Question number three. What is the longest running program on Comedy Central winning 18 primetime Emmy Awards? And the answer just happens to be one of Kevin's favorites, The Daily Show. And question number four was a tough one. What term describes TV shows that are produced for and are intended to be viewed online? And the answer is webisodes. Never heard of it being called that, but that's what the card says. So a lot of people got that one wrong. So we had a total of five correct answers. In fifth place, we have Francis Oblivion with a total of three points. In fourth place, hello Simon, Tanya Longley also with a total of three points. <laughs> In third place, Peter DeRoos with a total of six points. Second place, Destiny Swan also with a total of six points. And in first place, Terry Johnson with a total of seven points. Let's pick a card for this week's questions. Let's go with this one. And it's the movie The Fly. Hopefully y'all have seen that one. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't seen or if you do not know these TV programs and movies, you are allowed to look them up. This isn't just what you know. You can research this information. Okay, question number one. What actor became a changed man when a fly accidentally entered his telepod in the 1987 film? Question number two. Name Jeff Goldblum's co-star, The Fly, who was in a league of her own winning an Oscar for The Accidental Tourist. A lot of different movies there mentioned. Question number three. What two body parts are automatically transformed between the scientist and the fly? And question number four. What creature tries to devour and ensnare fly at the end of the 1958 version of this film? There you have it, your four questions for this week. Make sure you get those answers in by midnight on Sunday, and we will see you next week with the answers and four new questions. Good luck, everybody. Bye.